Hey y'all, welcome to Julia's Julia Closet, Closet Declutter, which is something that we've been scheming to do for some time, but none of you knew was coming. I don't think I've mentioned it on YouTube. And um, it's particularly fun because it you it's not that you don't declutter periodically, but it's, you don't do it like regularly and vigorously the way that people do who are on YouTube, I feel. Yeah, so I mean, I don't know how people on YouTube do it. I do it the way that I think probably like normal human beings yeah, exactly. who live in houses do it, which is like to say when I move or like every couple of years when my closet starts getting on my nerves. And I mean, the other thing about Julia is that she, in my opinion, has a really a way of buying clothing and using clothing that keeps an edited closet. So it's not an excessive situation. But it also, we do have our work I mean, cut out for us. I like we like have a project. <laughs> you, yeah, but you, 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 you guys will feel free. Especially like considering you are, you work, for, you have a professional job and you have to have, yes, there you know, are there many, are like many suits, suits. And things. <laughs> like lady lawyer things and like, um, you know, professor, law professor things and also regular fun time things. If this is your first time to my channel, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. My name is Hannah. I love beautiful things, so I talk about them on YouTube, review them on YouTube, but I don't wanna be someone who encourages overspending, and I also don't wanna be an overspender in my life, so I review things, I have a beauty and lifestyle channel, but I always have like an undercurrent of moderation and responsibility in my content. And if that sounds good to you, I hope you'll subscribe. This is Julia. She is occasionally on my channel because I'm currently living in her house. We've formed like a little pen pandemic bubble. Um, <laughs> my boyfriend and I moved in with Julia and her husband and their baby and we're doing a communal living experiment for the pandemic and so far it's going amazing. A lot of you know this already but that's why we're here decluttering Julia's closet even though it's my YouTube channel. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get into the meat of the video. Um, big thanks to the brand Vori for sending me these leggings. I feel like they're really sucking me in. Like, this is not the actual shape of my leg, it's, but, but the leggings are like... They also sent me a very soft set of like joggers and a little top. I'll feature that in a future thing. I'm actually really impressed is that by the quality. On Thanksgiving? The gray. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Um, anyway, thanks, Bori. And if anyone is curious about the leggings, just put me a comment and I'll, I'll tell you what I know. So Julia's going to talk about the way that she has her closet laid out and her goals for the declutter. This house was built in 1910, and in 1910, apparently people only had five articles of clothing um, because the closet in our bed, my bedroom with my husband is only big enough for my husband's clothes. And he doesn't have an insane amount of clothing but he has enough to, you know, his shirts like totally take up and the closet. And it's really, it's basically a broom closet. You know, it was sufficient for the five articles of clothing that people had in 1910. <laughs> um, but we hung on, alas, those people. I keep my clothes in a room that is adjacent to our bedroom. In that room, I have this open armoire and a closet that you will see shortly. The closet is out of this, is out of frame here, but you'll be seeing some footage of where it is. It's it's right over there. And we just couldn't frame up a shop, a shot that had the closet in it. Typically what I do is keep the clothes that I use the most in the armoire um, because I just run in here in the morning and grab something off a hanger and then run out. I also store other things in the closet that are either things that I'm not wearing because they are kind of out of season or they're just things that I don't wear as much. Like I keep my formal dresses in there that I will wear to like people's weddings and other fancy occasions, but that don't come out that often. Other things like my suits that I'll grab when I need to go to court, but otherwise, you know, kind of live in there and aren't everyday um, items. What I'm hoping to do is get the situation in the closet pared down such that I can make the armoire even more tailored to be, you know, slightly more seasonal than it is right now. And you probably can't tell because everything's kind of mashed together, but on the armoire right now I have kind of 
tank, tank tops, short sleeve tops, and sweaters and long sleeve tops all together out there. And I love to be able to, when it's winter, have space in the closet to be able to kind of like move those out and let the short sleeve and, you know, sleeveless things live out there and then flip it back for the winter such as we have it here in Los Angeles. <laughs> There's also a dresser that has, I'll show just a, a, a little picture of it, socks and underwear and then some athletic wear and we'll probably go through that as well but not at the dresser we'll be like bringing things so we've brought some of the stuff out of the closet into frame <laughs> pretty much here. all, the, all <laughs> the stuff on everything in my closet is now held on this chair <laughs> and there's a little bit more in there but we'll be switching it out and we're just gonna like do the deed here and then put everything back away and then we'll show you the change the transformation. Oh Total God. closet transformation. <laughs> You guys, okay, so this is, I mean, obviously, That's the goal. Right. <laughs> no, I know. Okay. Obviously, the goal is to declutter. Wait, um, wait, we shouldn't talk about it without paper falling out of the sleeves. Obviously, the goal is to declutter yeah. Julia's closet, but my secondary goal is to like peep the things in Julia's closet because there's a lot of beautiful stuff in here and it's just fun. <laughs> So we're going to go through the armoire and if there's anything currently there that like isn't seasonal or that it's like not the right time, it's, it's not its time of life <laughs> to be out, uh, it's going to go into the closet, which is kind of like the goal. Okay, so we decided to pull out everything that might be on the chopping block first and like have it be separate and then go through it all one by one. Okay, great. Wait, and everything, everything in the whole do closet it, or just this? Let's one? do everything in the whole closet. Okay. This is Julia's newest dress. She just bought it. It's what like your one dress that you bought this year. Yeah. Basically. That's my play Because this it's is how the girl she the buys one. like. It's not my one dress that I bought this year. It's the one article of clothing that I purchased this year. And I just love this because it's like if you're going to buy just one article of clothing in a year, like this should be it. You know what I mean? It's like, of course, it's gonna be this. And this dress is by Ula Johnson, who's the designer of my infamous pink eyelet blouse. So you can see like they kind of have something in common. This is like Julia's oldest garment. I've had this dress since I was 15 years old. 15. And I probably haven't worn, I haven't worn it since my mid twenties, I would say. There was a period of time, this didn't happen in real life. And there was a period of time where I was considering like making my own wedding dress and sewing this dress into the, <laughs> like the guts of the wedding dress because this dress has been with me for every relationship that I've ever been in. And so I felt like it would be really appropriate if I got married in this dress. The label says city triangles. It looks like- I got it, it at like very 19. Oh, when I really? Was 15. Yeah, I was about to say it looks very like 1980s vintage. How would you feel about putting it on right now? Here it, it is. I mean, ladies Still and gentlemen, fits because Julia this is kind of a traveling dress that she wore when she was yeah, this was like me in high school and college. I feel like this was the dress where I was like, no matter what, I always look good in this yeah. dress. Yeah. Dress, you know? Totally. So that, I think, doesn't fit me anymore and is too short. I mean, like, I don't know if I... You'll have to try it on. Yeah. Wait, let's do it. Let's do like a thing. Oh, oh ready? Julia okay. has to try this dress on because she thinks it might not fit her anymore. <sighs> uh, it fits and it looks good. I it mean, it does looks, have pockets. It looks good. So, I think. Well, but are you ever going to wear it again? Because this is the thing. Just because it looks good doesn't mean that. Well, you're... so I used to wear this all the time to work. It also has a youthful aspect. Yeah. Just. Which isn't bad, like it's not like you can't pull it off or that it looks like you're wearing something that's not right, but it's like a choice. You know what I mean? I like, don't, is that the silhouette that you love for yourself? Or I mean, not like? anymore, I don't yeah. think. I think it, the other thing about it is like it's very A-line. Yeah. Like I like an A-line, but I would want it to be a little bit more underneath. 
Texas Due to Differences. So. You wore this at your wedding rehearsal dinner, right? No, that dress is in the closet, but that probably is going to go. Um, but did, you didn't you wear this on but something I wore, around your yes, wedding? I wore it for the picnic the day after the barbecue because we got married oh, over the 4th right. of July weekend. So that's we right. had a 4th of July barbecue the day after we got married. So why is it on the chopping block? I don't know. I The last time I put it on, I had some like weird feelings about it. <laughs> But I don't know. If that as good a reason as any. <laughs> it's just me and being weird. But actually, I don't feel that way. No, I feel now. like it looks as elegant and yeah, I'm and still into properly it. fitted as it did when you wore it on your wedding. I could totally, it looks exactly like where this came from. Julia says she got this in high school for debate. Like to wear on her suit. I bet you looked amazing at debate. <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> I'm serious. I'm, I'm not being sassy. <laughs> Very cute. I like this shirt a lot. I've worn this shirt a lot. I think it's a great shirt. It's also a great shirt for like the thing that I do in normal life, which is that sometimes I have to like wear things under a suit or to teach, but like this is a thing that I could wear it to court and then I could like switch out my pants and go to dinner in this shirt and it would be fine and you know I would look fine in both settings or normal. Yeah, fine or normal. Fine, fine, fine or normal, a book. Fine. It's like a book of quizzes where you, you take the quizzes to it find out if you're fine or normal. <laughs> I like that Wait, because it implies that fine is not I know. Normal. Like, would you rather be fine or normal? Fine. <laughs> but you know, there's this amazing series of books. You never read the Three Pines Mysteries, no. did you? There's this amazing series of books, and one of the characters is like this incredibly curmudgeonly old poet named Ruth, who lives like in like the southern, the southern easternmost part of Canada, right on the border. And she, her, one of her poetry books is called "I'm Fine," but it's F dot I dot N dot E, like it's an acronym, an acronym, and it stands up for fucked up, insecure, neurotic, and egotistical. <laughs> so the book is called like I'm fine, but it's like I'm fucked up, insecure, neurotic, and egotistical. And whenever anyone says like I'm fine, I'm fine, it's fine. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, what explain yeah. yourself, Julia? Well, here's I I will I will. <laughs> the answer to your question is that. I bought this when I was 23 at Ann Taylor because I needed a shirt to go under a suit and I bought this on sale uh, many, many years later after I had worn the suits for quite some time. And it's just, it's basically and like the designer, like ver the designer like version yeah. of the shirt that I'm oh wearing. Oh my god, it's stunning, you guys. It's like, I'll put it on and it's texture. you can see. Right. I'm 23 year old Julia. I am adult. Well, I guess I was an adult when I was 23. I am advanced Julia. <laughs> advanced Julia. I'm fine. I'm 35. <laughs> do you ever wear this one still? I, just... I do sometimes wear that still, but it's like in there for a reason, right? Yeah. Which is that like this is the better version of that. And so if I'm going to wear a thing, it looks so. I mean, I they both look good. This yeah. looked good too, but it's also just more special. This, yeah, yeah, the pussy bow. I think I've hung on to this because I'm like, well, what if the day comes and like this is at the dry cleaners and I need the exact same shirt but a lesser <laughs> version? I don't know what I'm. Gonna do you want me to put it in the chopping block pile or the officially decluttered pile? I don't know. What do you think? I think it, I would be hor. I will be horrified 
knowing that you own that if I ever see you wearing this. Okay, well then it probably should just go in the shop. <laughs> but it's not a official to declutter pile. No, this is like what I was, because this is part of what I'm trying to achieve is like getting rid of, like I said, getting rid of things that are the lesser version yeah. of the thing that I have that, that I bought for myself because it was better than the thing that and I bought for myself when I couldn't book. afford. This is textbook. Yeah. 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 Well, I'll leave it on until there's something else that I want to okay. put on, and then you have until then to decide. Okay. Well, I think I've already decided. Friends, here's what's happened. We've put taken everything out of the closet, put it on this chair, and then gone through it piece by piece and put back into the closet things that Julian knows that she's definitely keeping and doesn't need to try on and doesn't even need to think about. And now we have over here the things that are on the chopping block. So we're gonna go through them category, category by category and decide whether they'll be decluttered or kept. So we're basically, we're really getting into the meat of the meat. That's cute, you're cute. But then, so the deal, I think, hold on, let's make sure the white balance is back. Wait, have you really never seen the fishy thing? What fishy thing? Where did that fish go? <laughs> fishy, fishy, fishy. Because that's literally what oh. they do. They like go around. Yeah, no, like, I haven't that's... seen it. <laughs> but are you sure you want to be on the internet? <laughs> have you ever heard my best joke about the whale? No, what's your best joke about the whale? A whale walked into a bar <laughs> with a six pack of beer. How? I'm suspending judgment. A whale walked into a bar with a six pack of beer and put it down on the bar, sat down on the bar stool, cracked open a beer and started drinking it. The bartender came over and was like, this is a bar. Like you can't just bring your own six pack of beer in here and start drinking it. Who do you think you are? And then the whale was like, I persisted. Julia recently gave me two um, wool sweaters that she's been keeping in hopes that she would just be able to wear them. But she's <laughs> in hopes that I would not be allergic to wool anymore. Which totally so she am. finally gave me like the last two sweaters that have wool in them, and they're they're not like oversized or something. One's an extra small and one's a small, and they're like regular size but both of them when i like tried them on for the first time they had the little sleeves like yes i saw you wearing one up. and i so for the first one i didn't think anything of it i just i put it on to try it on and then i just like rolled the sleeves down and i was like julia wants to roll the sleeves on but then the second one i did the same thing and i was like oh julia's little arms they're all, like all her little sleeves are rolled up so you came out wearing the sweater with like the sleeves at the normal length i was like Wow, that's how that sweater was always supposed to look. Wait, uh, how do wearing I phrase this? And wear and having sweaty underarms? No, wait. Okay, so you can either have sweaty underarms or be really allergic to wool. Yeah, you can you can either have sweaty underarms, but you can wear wool, or your underarms aren't sweaty, so that means that you can wear a bunch of lightweight, colorful silk things, but you're allergic to wool. What would you choose? I think I might choose And wool. just in case there are people out there who are like, 
you should just wear a shirt underneath the wool sweater so that you can wear the wool sweater. That is literally what I've been doing for the last two years with the two sweaters that I just gave to Hannah because I was hoping desperately that that would work. But I'm so allergic to wool that the sweaters itch me even. This, sure. you can tell Julie reads the comments. You know you anticipate the people being like, Well, why don't you, haven't you ever thought of trying the things that a person would try if a person had those problems? Because I thought of it for you. <laughs>
to dance around in and not ruin my wedding dress dress oh, it's, okay. it's in its way it's kind but of but how can i sit down in it like will <laughs> Okay, we we had things have happened. We turned the camera off. The baby had to go down for her nap, and but we're kind of wrapping it up. What do you think? We should we do athlete athleisure? There's some things in the drawers. Yeah, we could do just could really just, briefly. Yeah, if you want to. Lightning round. Lightning round. Lightning okay. round. All right, okay. let's get it out. Uh, I just counted everything, <laughs> and you have decluttered 46 things That's amazing. from your closet. I Did feel. you think it was that much? No. I didn't either. I didn't think, I wouldn't have, gu I would have maybe guessed like 30 garments yeah. from what we did. It's really good. I feel like we're not going to count like everything to figure it out, but it's definitely a percentage, like a worthy percentage, don't you think? It was the closet declutter of my dreams. <laughs> So I'm going to roll the B-roll footage of the closet as it looks now. It's not like breathtakingly different, but it definitely it has the breathing room that will allow you to do the switching around that you were hoping, don't you think? Like, yeah, I think 100%. We did it. That's it. And we didn't do shoes and we didn't do bags. We didn't do coats, but can't have it all. Yeah, the coats, I don't think I would have decluttered anything. Like I don't have that many. Mm -hmm. Same with bags. Yeah. Shoes. TBD. TBD. Maybe TBD. an or TBC. for another day. <laughs> That's it. Thank you for letting me film your closet declutter. Thanks for decluttering. <laughs> Thanks for let, bringing everyone along for the ride. Yeah. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope it was as fun for you as it was for us. And... Uh, wait, no, it's the time again, and I'm not prepared again. Don't forget to take extra good care of yourself right now so you can be the most effective version of yourself. It's going to be This is that picture before we went out one night. You we wearing this and like bright red. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I have an equipment one like this. I have a Lejeune. Oh, well, this is garbage. <laughs> <laughs> this is the one you're thinking of. Yeah. The rest of this, how did you not get rid of it? After these Pikers clothes? Yeah. <laughs> What's wrong with this? It's just really old. This is his whole own video. That one has a big rip in the back that we can't fix. Yes. That's right. Who ripped it? I don't know. It wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> I just remember it happening and it being devastating for both of us. <laughs>